So this week, while millions of Americans are about to get evicted, Democrats managed to do two things. Go on vacation and give Israel billions of dollars. And who helped them, of course? The squad. After Israel bombed Gaza to bits in May, you remember Ilhan Omar said the U.S. should stop giving money to Israel? Then what does she do this week? She votes to keep giving Israel money. $3.3 billion every year in military aid from the United States. This bill barely got through with 217 votes. Every single Republican voted no for different reasons, along with AOC Bush to leave. The only reason this bill got through is because the squad let it get through. Ilhan Omar, Ayanna Presley, Rokana, Bowman, Jayapal cast the final votes it needed to pass. How do these so-called progressives claim to support Palestine and then go and give Israel money? How can Ilhan Omar do that after they called her anti-Semitic and tried to ruin her career? This shows you exactly what frauds they are. They always play this game. Some of them will vote no to make it look like they're opposing the bill and dissenting, but then just enough of them will come through and vote yes for the bill to pass. You remember how they all chanted, defund the police, and when the bill was about to sink, some of the squad switched and voted yes to give the Capitol Police $2 billion. And before that, remember the squad could have said, hold on, you took the $15 minimum wage out? No way we're voting for it. And then they went and did it anyway. You remember the squad could have said, hold on, Nancy Pelosi won't give us a floor vote on Medicare for All. Okay, we're not voting for you as Speaker of the House. And then they did it anyway. This is all an act. This is all theater. Every single one of these bills, the squad had the power to stop them, but didn't, even though they go against everything they ran on. The squad made sure that they passed so they don't upset the Democratic Party leadership and feed you bullshit and platitudes. At the end of the day, these are American politicians and the whole world knows that they're American politicians. They're all the same. They're dishonest and corrupt and they support the interests of corporations in Israel. Where I come from, this is inexcusable. In Syria, Israel occupies our water, our oil, and bombs us weekly. So when you're sending them money to attack my country, you're damn right I'm pissed off. When you're sending Israel money to occupy Syria, Lebanon, and Palestine and kill our people, you're damn right I'm pissed off. Just look at how these so-called progressives vote. Whose agenda is being passed and served here? Is it Israel's agenda? Is it the establishment's agenda? Or is it yours? You already know the answer.